In Max Design 2011, we have some new functionality added to the graphite modeling tools. These are namely the object paint tools and can be found on their own ribbon tab. The purpose of these tools is to allow us to position geometry across our scene and actually position it on the surface of other objects using a viewport painting technique. In this example, we'll paint these trees at random across our landscaping surface, which would be something that is very difficult to do due to its undulating form. In Max Design 2011, we have some new functionality added to the graphite modeling tools. These are namely the object paint tools and can be found on their own ribbon tab. The purpose of these tools is to allow us to position geometry across our scene and particularly on the surface of other objects using a viewport painting technique. In this example, we're going to paint some trees randomly across our landscaping surface here, which we can see is quite undulating and would prove quite difficult in previous releases. So to do this, first we need to choose the objects that we want to paint, our trees. So we'll come along, select our trees and add those to our painting objects. Then we need to pick our landscaping because we're going to paint on the actual selected object. And we're going to paint our trees in a random order as well. The rest of these settings are interactive, so we can start by choosing our paint tool and then just painting some trees across the surface. We can see them straight away following our cursor and sticking also to the actual surface of the object we've got selected. So we've got our spacing set in here, they're a bit close together so we can adjust that and we can interactively use the spinners here to do that adjustment by eye as well. Once we're happy with the overall setting we can carry on and paint a couple more rows of trees in. We can see this is coming across very, very quickly, and very easy to do. As we spin this around, we can see that they are following the actual surface of our landscape in here. And they are in three distinct rows, so what we'd like to be able to do is to actually randomize the positioning of, of those trees. So firstly, we've got scatter settings. So using the, the U scatter, we can adjust the spinner and, and randomize the actual position there, just to take them out of their rows ever so slightly. And we can also randomize the space in a bit as well. If we feel we need some more trees in there, if they're a little bit sparse, we can still add to the actual spacing values and add more trees in as we go. And we can just keep playing with these settings until it suits us. Now, because we're positioning instances of the same trees here, we'd like to get some randomness into the actual size and positioning of the trees. So we've got rotation and scale factors here. So for our z-axis here, we're just going to switch that to random, and that way we're, they won't all be orientated the same way. And we can also have some random scaling as well. So here we've got a, a maximum and minimum setting, our minimum set to 90% of the original object and our maximum to 120. So very easy to do. We can see that those objects, those trees now painted across our surface are in quite random positions and would take quite a while to actually position those manually. Once we're happy with it, we can just choose the commit tool and then those are actually positioned and permanently baked into our scene. These trees we had at the back here, we can now just delete out as they're no longer needed. Another method of using this tool is to use the fill option. So if I switch views to our camera in the front of the building here, we, we can see we have a bollard. And we'd like to position those bollards along this line in front of the building. So what we're able to do then is to choose our paving surface here. And what we need to do is actually choose the edge that we want to position those along. And now back to our object paint, we're going to come back to paint our first object and we're just going to pick our bollard. And now we can just use our 
fill tool and at the moment it's still got some of our random settings in here so we can sort of switch those off and evenly scale our bollards again and once again we just need to adjust the spacing to suit if it suits us better we can scale this unevenly here so we can just change our Z scale factor and we can also offset change the offset values just to make sure that it is actually positioned onto our surface here so very very quickly then we can align those bollards along that line and it would take a little bit of uh, work to do that in previous releases so the object paint functionality part of the graphite modeling tools works with editable polys and we can see that it's going to save us a great deal of time in setting out some of our scenes especially along more complex objects